Hey guys, Dr. Frank here, founder of Addiction Mindset, and in today's brief video, we're going to talk about overcoming peer pressure and how to manage peer pressure. Now, this video can apply to both adults. This could be someone in a situation where they're trying to cut back on their alcohol consumption. They're out to dinner with friends and family and everyone's saying, hey, why aren't you drinking? Why don't you step outside for a cigarette with us? What's going on? That's one form of peer pressure. This also applies to the college student who's trying to quit vaping, trying to quit smoking weed and all their roommates smoke or the person in high school. Whatever the situation may be, we all face peer pressure throughout different points in our life. So let's talk a little bit about how to manage that. And I'm going to give you two mindsets that you can use when it comes to avoiding peer pressure. So mindset number one is more of an assessment. Next time you're in a situation, so let's say you're in your dorm room, your roommates are smoking weed, they're drinking, they're vaping, and you're really trying to quit vaping, you're really trying to quit smoking weed. I want you to look at the individuals that you're hanging around, and I want you to ask yourself, are these people that I aspire to become like? Do these people have the same goals that I have in life? Do the, are we on the same page? If the answer is yes, and you think, yeah, I, w I want to be like this person. They're, they're someone that I look up to. They're someone that I like. And I'm not talking about the BS celebrity that's promoting the alcohol and the drinking and the party boy or the party girl. I promise you it's not as glamorous as it looks. I'm just talking about the group of people that you're hanging out with. And I, I want you to look at them. And I just want you to ask yourself, are we on the same page? Or do I expect more out of my life? Do I have more potential than this person might have right now? Do I have more faith in myself that I'm up to something amazing, up to something great, and maybe these people aren't on that same page yet? And I'm not saying to look at these individuals in a condescending type of way or in a mean type of way, but there's a reality. You might be on a different page. You might expect more out of yourself, out of your goals, out of your ambitions, than the people in the room sitting around smoking, drinking, getting high, uh, ripping nicotine, whatever it is, you might expect more out of life than they do. You might care more all of a sudden about your health, mentally and physically. You might care more about your grades. You might care more if you're an adult about the job that you have to go in tomorrow. So you can't drink on a Wednesday night. You don't wanna be hung over Sunday morning. A and that's okay. You're just on a different page than those people. They might not be where you're trying to get to in life, or they might be stuck in a place that you're trying to get out of in life. Remember, addiction loves company. Whether we're talking about smoking or socially drinking, it doesn't matter. There's a reason why people pressure you. Well, have a drink with us. Why aren't you having a drink? Why don't you have some cake? Why don't you have some sugar, right? Why aren't you eating dessert? Uh, come on, man, just take one more hit. Take one more smoke with us. Why aren't you smoking? Addiction loves company. When you break away from that, when, when, when people see you walk away from that addiction, it makes them uncomfortable. It makes them insecure. And that's okay because maybe they should be thinking about their actions a little bit more deeply. That's tip or mindset number one. Mindset number two, which I think is extremely powerful, is it's very depressing to go through life being constantly influenced by other people. I know for me, I want to be the person that creates influence in the room. I want to be the person that people are listening to, not the person that's always getting fed advice, getting fed information, being sold on a product, right? Being sold on the newest flavor vape being sold on the energy drink, being sold on the alcohol. No, I want to be the one in the room that's creating influence, the person in the room that's having an impact, not the person that's constantly being impacted, right? So just think about that. What Do you really want to go through life constantly letting other people influence your decisions? Because in that life, in that lifestyle, you're never going to be able to take accountability and you are constantly going to be under control of another person. You're never going to have that true sense of freedom or that true sense of independence. And freedom and independence is something that we all 
deeply crave. We all want that no matter. Most people trying to quit addictions, the number one thing that they crave is freedom from the addiction, independence from the addiction. And when you go through life constantly blaming others on your decisions, constantly making excuses as to why you relapsed. Oh, my friends offered it to me. Oh, I was at a party and they had it. Oh, I couldn't say no. I would have made it awkward. When you go through life constantly allowing other people to influence you and control your actions, life is extremely depressing and very, very bleak in my opinion because you never have control. In my world, where, where, how I think, my mentality, I want to have control and I want to be the person influencing a room, not the person constantly being influenced. So those are the two, two top my, the two top mindsets when it comes to overcoming peer pressure and when it comes to being able to say no to friends. There, there is no special trick. It's a mindset. It's how you view yourself. It's how you view this addiction. And remember, when you quit, you should, you should also have a mindset of you're never doing this again. There is no circumstance, there is no situation, there is no exception. So whether you're having a bad day or a good day, whether your family's influencing you or your friends are influencing you, you made, up, you made a decision. You made a decision. And I promise you, if you go backwards on that decision, you're going to feel very, very crappy about yourself. When you made this decision, you should have also made the decision that you're going to see this decision through this time because when you don't, it's a depressing feeling. So I hope that helps. Those are the two mindsets you want to have when it comes to overcoming peer pressure from friends. Good luck. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching by myself or my team, you can contact us at addictionmindset.com. The link is below. We charge $50 for the first call and $75 an hour after that. Reach out if you need help. Stay away from peer pressure. You influence others. Others don't influence you.